Hooray! I'm Melanie. I'm Wina. And, and we are the Child Care Gurus. So let's face it, partner. Not all who started a home-based daycare stays open. The fact is, one of the many other reasons they close us is because they overlook some points to be considered diving into this kind of business. Having a home-based daycare is so rewarding and inspiring to do as a profession. Yeah, but there's still something that they should know before they make a decision opening one, right? I, I agree. First things first, make sure you are fully prepared mentally, emotionally, and physically because being a provider is not an easy job. Based with my own experience, some, sometimes in my life, I feel stuck and I feel bored. So what I did to deal with these, um, these scenarios Struggle. or these struggles is I made sure I have some time for myself after my working hours. And then I make sure I have some vacation leave and schedule some day off so that I will not feel burdened when I work in my daycare. You have to make sure to get your family's insight and thought about it first. It is a big no-no when everybody is not agreed with the idea even though you're really into it, right? Because in the long run, it might cause a big problem or misunderstanding and it might affect your relationship with them. You must be willing to dedicate most part of your home for childcare, such as your appliances, your furniture, and they are subject to tear and wear. But in the good side, even you are unlicensed, you can write it off when filing taxes. You must be willing to do lots of changes in your home, especially on your setup, to make sure that it is child-friendly environment. You must maintain cleanliness and learn to be organized because doing a home-based daycare is not just dealing with kids. You have to do your own financing, bookkeeping, planning for your activities, and organizing your daycare. But in the good side, you'll be able to develop your skill that you can use for your professional growth. Make sure you are ready to meet strangers like her <laughs> and welcome them in your home. This is another good thing that you need to consider before opening a daycare. You must do your research such as survey on how much demand of childcare spot is in need in your area and how much you need to uh, charge your families for your services. You must also get ready to get sick. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, especially in Manitoba, most of the kids get sick more often because of our weather. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. cold here. Make sure you are ready to spend money for your startup in buying toys, crafts, and everything that you need for your daycare. But in the long run, if you are willing to sign up and be licensed, you can apply for provincial startup grant. Yeah. Another things to consider is for your home insurance. You must be ready to pay more because taking more kids into your home means you need more protection for yourself, for your assets and for the kids that you care as well yeah so those are the things you need to consider opening a home-based daycare and if you want to know the benefits of having a in-home daycare watch this video right here this one and we'll see you there and, and we quote being a child care provider is not just a job for us it is a calling 
Thank you for watching! And I hope you guys like this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for our upcoming videos. Hooray! Kurus! <laughs> willing to use most of your part. Willing to use most of your part. <laughs>